When I think of St. Eugene de Mazenod as the founder of the Oblates of Mary Immaculate, I think of a, a passionate young man with great energy and vision. I also think of three defining moments or conversion moments in his life which really influence and shape not only his life but at the same time shape the foundation of the congregation and really which becomes the charism of the congregation and the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. The first, as we touched on earlier in the series, was as a young man, the Good Friday experience before the cross, where he recognises his own dignity and that calls him to service. The second is his near-death experience when he contracted typhoid while serving prisoners of war. It highlighted uh, his need for community and to include others in the mission. So it's only fitting that his third significant moment of conversion occurs before a statue of Mary Immaculate, considered the mother of the congregation. This third experience occurs during a ceremony on the 15th of August in 1822, during the official enthronement or the placement of the statue of the Immaculate Conception, known as the Oblate Madonna. That same statue is today situated at the General House in Rome. The mystical experience before the statue occurred just before the papal approval of the congregation's constitution and rules. So you can imagine St Eugene and this small community feeling rather nervous and anxious about the situation. What he experienced that day gives, gave him confidence that through Our Lady's intercession, his small group of men were indeed on God's mission. In a letter to his friend Tompier, he reflects and he says, Would that I could share with you all that I experienced in the way of consolation on that beautiful day devoted to our Queen. I would like to think that I understood and can well believe that all the faithful who came to our church this evening also shared the fervour that inspired me at the sight of the image of the Holy Virgin and greater still shared the grace which I dare to say she obtained from her divine son while we were calling upon her with such affection because she is our mother. I believe I owe to her a special experience that I felt today. I will not go so far as to say more than ever, but certainly more than usual. I cannot describe it too well because it comprised several things, but all are related to a sim single object, our dear society. While not a Marian congregation, the Oblates of Mary Immaculate hold a special devotion to Mary who we consider our mother and patroness, guiding us to Jesus and interceding on our behalf.